Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. You saw it. This is one of the saddest videos I've ever seen of a cop arrest. Um, not, I want to say this from the beginning. I'm not saying that anything done in this video should be done, but I just want to say it can be very scary and very sad what some of these cops come across. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Shout out to, uh, Who else is in the car? Um, real body cams. Who else? As the suspect appeared to flee, the officer activated his emergency lights and initiated a traffic stop. Stop! Don't get out! I'm asking you questions, you answer. Okay, and I will answer. Why did you get on me like that? Hornet looks at quarters, it's a female. Alright, step out. A white step female. Out. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Why did you take off like that? I'm sorry. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, it does not get better at all from here. It will escalate very far. So we're going to move forward a little bit here. Just kind of want to show y'all how we got to this point. She did a hit and run, and she took she hit, and she, she took off. And, you know, he tries to get out of the car. She's obviously intoxicated on something, and that's where we are here. So let's start here. What do you need? Don't try me because I used to be a paramedic. Okay. All Don't right. hit me with a what you need. Okay, what do you... Because I know All that right. you want to listen to more than what I got. What is you your name? You want a drug bust. What's that? You want a drug bust. Don't you? Do you have drugs in the car? I don't. Okay. All right. And you want to check it? We are going to check my, it. My trick? That vehicle is going to get towed. Okay. So you're going to give me the clothes out of it? All right, yeah, we'll get what you need out of it. What is your name? Stay in the Grace. car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You, feel you notice this part where she says, handsome man. She kind of continues to go down this route. I mean, you could tell she's obviously off something, man. But it, most of these videos I watch, I, I normally say, like, you know, they brought this upon themselves. And that is the case in a lot of these situations. And that's the case now. But there's something that happens later in this video that I didn't take note of because one thing I don't have experience in, guys, is the human trafficking world. I don't have any experience in sex trafficking. I don't have any experience when it comes to strippers. I don't have any experience of people who do adult entertainment. I don't know people like that. I've never spoken to these people. The only thing I know is what I've read. So some things that people will notice because they've been around these type of people. I've never been around these type of people. I don't know any strippers personally. I don't know anybody who does prostitution. Um, and so this is something I didn't pick up on. And I'm so glad other people did. And I will help you guys as well. Um, but let's continue. Okay. That's obviously with me. Okay. All right. Is there anything else in the vehicle that we should know I about? I need my black and miles. Okay. Okay. My new clothes that is in Dick's finish line and some like Tupperware. Okay. There's some black Tupperware in there. They got my steak in it okay. with asparagus and mashed potatoes. Okay. I need that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, um, that sounds great. Is someone going to be able to pick you up? You want someone to pick me up? Because I can. Oh. You just going to have to let me out before 2 o'clock before I have them head off into the road. Yeah. We'll see how the testing goes. What is the time? The time right now? 6.35. So call my friend before. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. But I was telling you. Do you have insurance for that vehicle? Yes. All right, so something I didn't show. I'm going to go back a little bit. I went a little bit too far ahead. I'm going to show you all something that um, when she's talking here in the car, she says some pretty wild things. So let's take a step back. Stay in the Grace. car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You feel some type of way because my leg ain't in the car? Get your foot in the car. Just stop. It's what is you. your name? Grace. Grace what? G-R-A-C-E. Yeah. Do you know your social? No. 
All right, I'm going to get driving. your driver's license out of your purse, okay? You can do that. All right, put your foot in the car. Do I have to? Yes, put your foot in the car. Why you got to be so demanding? Why? She just rear-ended that car. Through. So right before that, just a little before, I didn't show it, but I just want to let y'all know how that conversation was going. There's a part right before that where she tells the cop that, ask the cop if she wants to have relationships, meaning for lack of a better word, and she wants to do some dirty things. And I was shocked to hear that. And don't worry, this video gets way more shocking. But I'm just trying to show you how off this girl is and how much she is trying to also try to seduce this man and how she acts around men. Where's that? What do you mean, what the f <laughs> Where is it? Like, where's what the do you mean, where is it? You know? Don't. don't play dumb with me. I ain't that dumb. Okay. Don't play me like that. Okay. It's downtown. Okay. That's fine. So at least seven different officers want to uh, report me mm -hmm. as I'm because I want to sleep with them because I work there. Okay. You don't care. Hey, me. So right before that, she says, you know what I'm talking. That's why she gets upset. She's like, you know what I'm talking about. Because she talks about a lot of officers go to where she works and wants to sleep with them. And she wants to, she wants them, to, she wants, they want her to sleep with them. Right? Keep that in mind. To the office where your investigators do protecting that and let me know about my I don't care. I'm so Did she just spit on you? Alright, she's going down. We're not going to test her. Yeah. While in the patrol car, the suspect attempted to spit on the officer. Grace, stop. Thank you. Are you going to touch me now? Are you going to So from this point, it continues to escalate. It continues to get worse. And this is the part I want to show you guys. So watch right about here. Okay. You're okay. You don't. You don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know how many girls have been captured to take to Atlanta. I didn't care. I knew she said that, but I had no idea what she was going on about. I was confused of why she even brought that up. It wasn't until I read the comment section that I realized what's going on. I want y'all to hear this again. Let's take a few steps back. You. Okay. No, it doesn't. No, hold on. Hold on. Don't get out of the I'm car. I'm not getting out of the car. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. You don't know what the f you're dealing with. Okay. You don't. Okay. You, no, not okay. F you're okay. You don't. You don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know how many girls have been captured to take to Atlanta. No. No, just uh. Man, uh, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Can I step up? We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the station no, so you on. can. Can I step up and talk to him? No, you gotta stay in the car right no, now. No, woman to woman. No. There's no I can't step up and step back in? No. No, You're in the because car you don't right trust now. me. Okay. Grace, stay in. Stay no, in. No, you don't trust me. Stay in the car. Come on. You don't trust me. Stay in the car. You don't trust me. Go ahead, pull Grace, it. Get in the car. You don't trust me. Well, obviously this girl is falling apart, okay? There's something going on behind the scenes. The reason she would bring up that she's been captured, the reason you earlier you kept hearing her saying she was talking about her trick, the reason you heard about she's trying to say there's a drug bust. I mean, you, the reason all this is happening, I'm not saying what she did was right, okay? I don't ever say anything is right against the law. I mean, saying something, breaking the law is something right. But and I'm not saying these cops did anything wrong. They could obviously probably followed up after this. But what I am saying is sometimes we look at these videos and we look at these people, we look at strippers, 
we look at escorts, we look at prostitutes, and we just think it's all normal. Like they're, they're choosing this life in every situation. And the more I've watched this video and the more I listen to the people in the comment section or read what the people said in the comment section, I had to take a different approach. I thought this video was wild to begin with, but I was like, man, it just seems like something's just not adding up here. And that's what you're about to see here in this uh, next scene. You don't trust me. You don't trust me. I don't trust you. You just spit on me. Yeah, I do. So, how are you? Good. You notice how she starts screaming when this woman shows up? She was yelling earlier, but she was not screaming to this degree until this woman shows up. Good. How are you? Good. Okay. You're well, lost. You're looking for something. No, I'm not lost. Uh -huh. Well, I see my friend had left the family function. Uh huh. And that she was in this area. Uh huh. Her name is Gracie. Is this this chick? Left the family function. Yeah. Oh, okay. She She's is going to jail. Yeah. Hammered yeah, drunk. Going to jail. She hit a car. She hit a car. Yes. She got into a motor vehicle accident, and then she spit on one of us. Oh, which is God. assault on a police okay. officer. Because I know she had left a while ago, and I was kind of concerned on okay. why she was still in the area. I know she was headed to work, but... Okay. She is okay. She did not get hurt. Okay. She's okay. I don't think the other person got hurt either, no. did they? No injuries, but... but no. she's going to be going to Medina County Jail. If you could tell her loved ones that, that would be okay. great. Do you know where she lives? Current address? No, I don't know her current address. In Cleveland? No, no I don't know her current okay. address. I'm sorry, what's her relation to her? My friend. She's just friend. Just a friend. How long has she been in town for? You're fine, you know her. Uh, why, why does that matter? Is there anything else you need from us? No. Okay. Guys, go ahead Other than, like I said, you know, I... So, who do you think this woman is? Do you think this woman is her friend? Obviously, it's her friend. No, it's not. So, when I originally saw this, I thought this was a friend, but see, one part I did not notice while watching this video. If we take a step back, y'all heard her say this is from the family function. I did. Like I said, she starts yelling as soon as she sees this hand, this person. So, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. good. Okay. You're well, lost. Notice how she walks up too. She walks up very businesslike. How are you? Um, she's looking no, at her I'm phone. not lost. Uh -huh. Well, I see my friend had left the family function. Uh huh. And that she was in this area. Uh huh. Her name is Gracie. Is this this chick? Yeah. Oh, okay. She she's is going to jail. Yeah. Hammered yeah, drunk. Going to jail. She hit a car. She hit a car. Yes, she got into a motor vehicle accident, and then she spit on one of us, oh, which is God. assault on a police okay. officer. Because I know she had left a while ago, and I was kind of concerned on okay. why she was still in the area. I know she was... I know she left a while ago, and I noticed that she was still in the area. I was kind of concerned. So what is this, people? This is what everybody was saying. This is her handler, allegedly. This is her handler. This is an individual who is obviously responsible for her. Okay, this girl is part of a prostitution pimp kind of thing going on here like i said i'm not necessarily dialed into this this stuff i have to learn over time but this is a handler that's why she's like why is she not at work why is she not doing what she's supposed to be doing whether that be stripping whether that be making videos whether that be on the corner of the sh being on the streets on the corner doing that kind of stuff and i want to say this before we continue one thing that people don't understand is when it comes to pimp and prostitution and trafficking they think it's always on the streets no, that happens in your local OnlyFans. That happens in your uh, adult entertainment sites, such as The Hub, such as all the sites you know of that fall under what used to be MindGeek. We've already talked about that. Guys, listen, there are so many avenues that people can be prostituted in. So she, it may sound like she's just a stripper or just sound like she's on the streets, but she could obviously be making videos too on your OnlyFans that you watch, on your The Hub that you watch all these videos and i put up something on twitter I, I really hope you guys go check it out on x that explains how this kind of stuff happens too please go watch that video on x i cannot show it on youtube but if you go to x you'll see exactly what i'm talking about of how these people get themselves pushed into these videos and we don't know what's going on so this is a handler who came to check on her and that is why gracie is flipping out that's why it's so hard. I understand it's so easy to judge these strippers. So easy to judge these women into this area. But please understand, it's not always it looks like. That girl said that you don't understand that women are getting kidnapped and taken to Atlanta. Okay? 
That's what I'm trying to say. She's in Ohio on this thing, but you just don't know how many of these women actually got taken off the streets. They may have been a runaway. They may have been slipping one day and they were walking down the street and they got caught up. You just never know. And especially the fact that she's hammered drunk in the middle of the day, about to go to work to do something. That is something that she does that she needs to be drunk for. I'm headed to work, but. Okay. She is okay. She did not get hurt. Okay. What happened okay. is she just leaves. Nothing too crazy. So they get to the police station. I want y'all to know this is part of well. I got shit! Alright? You understand that? I ain't got shit. You wouldn't let me go. Right. Step out. No, you wouldn't let me go. I couldn't hold it. So she's talking. I'm going to move it forward a little bit because I think they actually show the people. I'm not going to show that. 22, um, please. You can see that she ended up using the bathroom on herself. That's why she said you wouldn't let me go. And y'all will see that here in a second. What's your name? Logan? You look like a Logan. No. You gonna let me keep pissing? No, come on. I don't want to piss through your Come heart. on. Okay. Shit. All right. So she's peeing everywhere. Everywhere she goes, she's peeing. She peed all over the cop's car. She peed right there on the ground. And she ends up peeing uh, in the same area. On. And she ends up trying to take off her pants, right? And she ends up going through one more meltdown, which is about right here. Oh, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You, you want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. You can touch Step me. Step back. You touch me. Just stay in that blue box. No. Look. No. no. Yes. You don't want me here. You don't want me here. Stay in the blue box. No. Just Please. stay in the blue box. Don't touch me. She. No. I don't need. She. She is urinating I everywhere. Am. I. Yes. All in the back seat of my don't. car. Yes, I did. All out because there. Because disrespect him. Do I. You take a test that's all. Right? The, no. Um, refusal. I and I, I I know that these cops have dealt with individuals like this. Um, I want to talk more, but I want to finish out this scene right quick. Let's try to get her back in the car. And she fights the entire time. No, no, you try to, you try to, you try to put me in Mexico. Stop! Watch out for all that. You're right. You try to put me in Mexico. Quiet and get in the car. You're trying to put me in New Mexico. No one. See how she's screaming? You're trying to put me in New Mexico. She's obviously going through some traumatic PSC, a PTSD right now. Like, don't kick. What are we don't talking kick. about? Don't They're kick. in Ohio, and she said you're trying to get me to go to New Mexico. You're don't trying kick. To, you're Miss. trying to. You're trying to put me in New Mexico. Yes, you're no. gonna be in your own urine here in a second. Just sit up, dear. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, so that's enough. That's enough. That's hard to take. But that's pretty much how it ends. This is why I said this one of the saddest ones I've seen. For a woman to get in there, she starts talking about trying to seduce the men. Not only did she go from there, I told y'all one part, she said something very vulgar. She also goes from there to say that the women are being kidnapped and taken to Atlanta. Her handler shows up, and then at the very end, she uses the restroom on herself. And then she ends up saying, first of all, she likes to be tased, she likes it kinky. And from there, and from there we go into her saying she doesn't want to go to New Mexico. Guys, that's why I make these cop videos and I'm glad they're out there. And I like to break them down because every interaction is so different. Every interaction of these videos are so different. And you never know what's going on. What's going on in these people's lives. I don't look at these and these videos are old. Please remember these videos are older. Right. They normally go about two or three years back. They're never, they're never normal. They're not normally brand new unless you're watching like the law and crime network. Normally they show those pretty up to date. But anyway, you never know what's going on in these people's lives that lead them to these things. I never say this thing is right. I don't think she should have been drinking and driving because she was going to drink and drive to work. She could have obviously took somebody's life. So I'm not for her doing that. What I'm simply trying to say is that if we always look at everything that everybody does is because they're trying to be evil, that they're trying to be terrible people, 
to understand that people do evil stuff to other people that make them fall off into this. If this woman had gone and drank and drive, it wouldn't took somebody's life. That'd have been bad on her, obviously. But I wouldn't say that excuses the people who are putting her through the ringer, clearly, who are putting her into this prostitution. They are putting her into this, this ring. They're making her do stuff with men. They're making her do all this stuff. I would say those people can be excluded too. Does it make it right? No. But I'm saying that when we look at people in this life, when you look at strippers in particular, when you look at OnlyFans models, when you look at adult entertainers, even though I don't believe those really exist that much anymore, understand that some of these people do all of this because they're being forced to do a lot of this stuff. They're being kidnapped. They're being taken into this stuff. And you look at them and say, wow, what a dirty whore. What a slut. What a what a what a disgusting person. And you don't understand what even got them into this. Some of these women get into this and they just give up. There's like there's no way out. They the only way out is to get sometimes beat down. Sometimes they try to escape and have their life taken from them. Or they know if they even if they do escape, their life is ruined forever. They're gonna have to look over those shoulders for the rest of their life. Because you never know. You gotta move to a completely different state with no money, none of this. And you gotta try to figure this all out and hope they never find you again. And so some people think that when they see a woman into this life and they talk about sex, even with, and be honest with you, even the women you see on the podcast, the women you think who are really choosing this life, you still never know. You never know. OK, I'm not saying give them all the benefit of the doubt. All I'm simply saying is that we need to treat these people like humans at the end of the day, humans with problems. Humans that need to be, sometimes need to be protected and sometimes humans that we need to have an honest conversation with. It is so easy for me to sit down and talk to an OnlyFans model and to be like, but you're a slut, but you're a whore. Well, who cares? You're having sex with all these men for money. You're gross. You're disgusting. It's easy for me to do that instead of going, well, why do you do it? And they say, well, because it isn't that. And I'm like, well, do you understand that if you were to go this route about it and you believe that this is what sex should be and what all this, instead of having no true discussions and learning if I just sit there and judge them for everything they're doing, that's just ridiculous. People can look back at my life. If you met me when I was younger, you would ask me a ton of questions that I couldn't have answered. I didn't know that I was going through trauma. I didn't know I was going through stuff that I had in my childhood. I told you all the story of me watching a man get stabbed in front of my face seven times. Right. I, I show you the stuff that I've seen. I've seen people get jumped. I've seen people get um, almost die from a, a gang getting jumped in a gang. Not getting jumped in the game, but a gang jumping somebody. It's just like you never know with this stuff um, what people have gone through. And I'm sure you may have gone through some traumatic stuff. Some people haven't. Thank God for that. But some people have. And so if you're not willing to have these conversations without judging first, you're not willing to do all this stuff first, you never know. And I don't, I don't think the police in this situation was doing bad. Like they were just handling it the best they could. They didn't get really riled up until the very end when they're just like, this is going too far but clearly the girl is going through something to be yelling something even though she's drunk okay even if i'm even if people are drunk they don't tend to just yell out stuff that makes zero sense they normally scream it because something is going on in their life that makes them feel like they have to yell something out or they feel like they have to talk about something that's why when you get drunk people they get deeper they talk about stuff that they normally wouldn't talk about they say stuff they normally wouldn't say or they get angry about stuff they normally wouldn't get angry about something up within them has lowered their inhibitions to really do this stuff right y'all notice how she was screaming like crazy when her handler came up allegedly all i'm saying guys is that when we look at these people getting arrested, when we look at these people who are drunk, drinking and driving, when we look at these people who are high on marijuana or high on other drugs, I'm not saying that they should break the law. Once again, they should go to jail. All I'm saying is that also we have to look at them as humans. We have to look at them as humans. If even if they and I know this is even if they do take somebody's life, I know that is horrible, horrific, because I had a buddy of mine when I was growing up who took the life of a man. He took his life. He took his life, took him to the woods and set him on fire. And this man was mentally disabled. One of the most horrific things ever. And my friend had to hear everything from that family. The court proceeding was awful. They obviously had some very, very deep words as far as saying like, they hope that this man burns forever. It was a tough, tough court proceeding to hear. So I'm not, excusing people when they do this kind of stuff my friend um is going to be in prison the rest of his life the other two the other people he did it with got the death sentence 
All I'm saying is that I can't look at him and say, well, I got to hate him for the rest of my life because of what he did. I'm simply saying, why did he do this? Why did he do this kind of stuff? Can I see past it and see the humanity in him now that it's been, what has it been, 11 years since that happened? I don't know, man. I hope I'm making sense. I'm simply saying that we have to look past people and what they're doing. That's all I'm saying. This is a very sad arrest. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this woman ended up getting help, and I hope she escaped that life. But who knows? Who knows? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all think I'm being too nice? Or you think I'm trying to show some empathy? Or y'all think we shouldn't care about this woman? She, Y'all think she just got in this life and she chose her way? Like, what do you think? How do we talk to these people? How do you think we should interact with these people? Anyway, I'm gone.